Quad controller PCI Express USB expansion cards tend to be pricey. The ones with great IOMMU separation, even more so. Luckily, there is this one company that I won't even try to pronounce that offers exactly that. A quad controller expansion card where every controller ends up in its own IOMMU group when used on the right system. I bought one of these cards in order to test it out. I did not buy it directly from the manufacturer. I bought it on eBay and I will leave the link in the description. So let's take a quick look at the card. So here we have four ports on the back, four more in the front of the card. It has one supplemental SATA power connector, but it actually works fine without plugging the power connector in. So that's great. Fewer cables running through your case. Let's take a look at how the ports are. So when plugging them in, you might have to be careful and make sure that you can actually fit the connector since it's in this direction and some cases might obstruct it a bit, but it should work just fine. To take a full advantage of this card, you have to be either on Intel's HDDT platform, you can use Ryzen and enable ACS in BIOS, or you can be using Threadripper. For Intel's consumer platform, that is Z490, 390 and all that stuff, the IOMMU separation isn't that great and unless you do an ACS patch in Linux, you would end up with everything in one IOMMU group. So keep that in mind. Let's use IOMMU Viewer to take a look at some details. So right here we have the card, couple bridges from Asmedia and four Renesas USB 3 controllers. And they are all in their own IOMMU groups. Perfect. And finally, we have three virtual machines right here. Each one has a USB controller, D, C, E. And uh, this is what it looks like. PCI host devices. And right here would be B, C, D, E are the controllers, the four controllers on the card. There is a flash drive connected to each one of them, each of the virtual machines. The flash drives are on the back of the controller and then the, there is a mouse connected to the front of the USB card where there are the internal headers. So each controller has basically two ports, one on the front, one on the back. So you also have internal headers that you can use for your case. The mouse connected to one of the four internal headers will stay with the host. I could just give it to another virtual machine, but I decided three is enough to prove that they are all in their own IOMMU groups. So let's start the virtual machines. Here we should have one USB drive connected to it, and another one right here. I think this is just one, it's just partitioned. And our last virtual machine, we have to wait for that. Here is the drive. Okay, that took a while. So that works too. All three of them work and then the host has the mouse. So in total, each virtual machine has two USB ports, one on the front of the card, one would be an internal header going to your case. One thing to be careful about when I plugged in one of the internal headers, when I was pulling it off, I kind of pulled a little too hard and it came off. So you might have to be careful about that. I was able to put it back on, so it didn't destroy the card or anything, but uh, yeah, you have to be careful. So overall, a pretty decent card, I have to say. For the price, I mean, you can get it for less than $50. If you are willing to go on AliExpress, on eBay, it's around 50. When buying it, you have to be careful, obviously, because it really depends on what the seller has actually in stock. The, the current, batch seems to be working really well so hopefully they don't somehow change the batch and make a quad controller card with you know not as good IOMMU layout so yeah so that's that for this uh, inexpensive card i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found it informative thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video